What is going on guys, once again Michael or Legacy Killer HD back, and as most of you know by now, Kotaku's Jason Schreier has published a report on what he's heard regarding Fallout 76, claiming that this game is not the traditional single player RPG that we're used to from Bethesda Game Studios, but now an online survival RPG. Jason Schreier is one of the most reliable gaming journalists in this industry and almost always has been spot on with what he reports on. Now the reaction to this news has really split opinions with some including myself waiting for Bethesda's E3 conference before completely judging it, and others already saying this is not Fallout and they will not purchase the game if it's an online centered experience. Well just yesterday Jason Schreier posted a pretty significant update on the Fallout Reddit, reporting some more from what his sources are telling him and also clarifying a little better what this game is actually about. The following information comes in a post titled hi reddit slash fallout just want to clear something up about Fallout 76, and Jason states, Hi, I'm Jason Schreier from Kotaku. I had forgotten how passionate the Fallout community can get. After I reported on Fallout 4's existence in 2013, people here first spent two years calling me a liar, and then when it was confirmed, they just yelled at me for spoiling the surprise. But hey, I'm also a big fan of the series, and in fact, may or may not have just started replaying Fallout 4 on my PC in the wake of this week's news. I've seen a lot of rage and confusion and denial on this subreddit, so I just wanted to chime in to say a couple of things. One is that, after publishing my story, I heard from a few other sources, in addition to the three mentioned in the article, corroborating that Fallout 76 is an online game. If you're really still in denial, I guess you can wait until June 10th, but hey, don't say I didn't tell you. The second thing is that I'm very optimistic about this game. The buzz I'm hearing both first and second hand is that it's really cool, interesting, and just as story-focused as any other Bethesda Game Studios game. It might have multiplayer and base building, but hey, it's still a Fallout game. I don't want to drive hype for a game I haven't seen or played, but I also don't want people to be so close-minded that they spend the next nine days freaking out every day on Reddit because this game is not going to be like the last three. I mean, how many of you remember when hardcore Fallout fans flipped a crap because Bethesda was making a first-person shooter? I think that, in retrospect, I should not have tweeted that anyone expecting a traditional single-player Fallout will be very disappointed. Really, I should have said that they'll be very surprised. I wanted and still want to make sure people's expectations are calibrated accordingly. Short version, yes, Fallout 76 is going to be a multiplayer role-playing game. No, that's not automatically a bad thing. Just like all of you, I'm stoked to see the game on June 10th, and I'm optimistic that it's going to be really cool. But as he mentions one tweet that he put up, which quite literally caught the world on fire, saying fans who expect a traditional single-player RPG will be disappointed has now been deleted. Also just saying, Jason, a game journalist. As he previously stated, he only went public so people would understand that this is not your typical Fallout game, something thing that Bethesda has not made known, yet they are taking pre-orders already. I say that to encourage people not to send hateful things Jason's way, especially since he's just reporting on what he's heard. But with that said, there's still some big holes in what Fallout 76 is. We now know it's still a story-focused experience, just with some multiplayer. Which I think makes much more sense, and we all remember after Electronic Arts shut down Visceral Games last year and cancelled their single-player linear Star Wars game, Bethesda launched the hashtag singleplayer1 campaign featuring Linda Carter who said this. But here at Bethesda, we are working toward a solution. We make all sorts of games, but single player experiences are a big part of our DNA. This is who they are, and taking Fallout to just online only just does not make any sense. And I still think it can't be much more than co-op, mainly due to Bethesda's outdated game engine, but maybe featuring a more rule setting with less buildings creates more opportunity for them. As we discussed the other day, another supposed leaker compared Fallout 76 to New Vegas, even mentioning not to worry too much about the online, and right now, I'm starting to feel more hopeful about this game. He also responded to one strange rumor going around that some believe which is the game just takes place in the vault and he simply denied it. But right now it's clear from some of the Bethesda employees tweets they want to talk about the game more but they have to wait. And as I stated in my last video we don't know the complete picture yet. 
although in just about a week we should understand what Bethesda is trying to do with Fallout 76. Leaks are not official statements, and while the few we discuss do look and sound authentic, they only give a brief idea of what this game is about. If you're on the fence right now, fortunately in just about a week, officially we'll know much more. But until then, it's going to be more possible leaks, and there are some clear fakes going around, like this one, which has made the modding community extremely worried. Bethesda all of a sudden just ditching single player with arguably their biggest franchise and not supporting modding anymore just doesn't add up, so right now, just be skeptical. E3 is right around the corner. Anyway guys, what do you think of this huge leak update? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. But thank you for watching, make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy this video or found any informative value, and consider subscribing for more Fallout 76 content to come, and I'll see you later.